be the opposite lateral. So you're just gonna go all the way over the patient, all the way around to the other side. So if I let go of that, it'll stay. And you're gonna notice that now it says, check. It says execute the 3D scan with the left foot switch. So from here, you're just gonna make sure the base is locked, because if this is unlocked, it could move during the exam. You don't want that to happen. Then you're going to take the foot pedal and bring it as far away from the C-arm as possible. You're gonna let everybody know that you're about to start the scan. And you're gonna ask the anesthesiologist to suspend respirations. With the left foot pedal, you're gonna hold it down and the spin will start. Here, click at the end and you can remove your foot and then you'll go back up into the room. All right, from here, this is when you just have to align everything perfectly. So when you get these images, they're going to be what they call thin. Um, some surgeons like them to be thick. So with this button over here, this is called thin. This one is called thick. Thick just means that you're clearing up your image quality a little bit. So you'll click in here, you'll see that this box is highlighted and you're going to make it thick. You'll notice that this one is much more clear than something like this one down here. You're gonna click into another box, make it thick. You're gonna click into this box, make it thick. They're all gonna be thick. Now you want to line everything up to your screw and you'll see here we used a key. So you may hear me reference a key instead of a screw. So with this button right here, you're going to get free mode, it's free movement. You'll notice that if I'm in the middle, you'll have crosshairs to move lines up and down. On the side, you're going to see that I have a spinny so I can move to match the key or the screw. So that line I'm going to have match the screw. This line I'll keep straight to go along the axis of the spine. Now if I keep moving down to this one, you'll notice that the spine is slightly turned, so we'll turn just to match the spine. And then we'll use this one to match the screw. If we come over here, you'll also see that the spine is slightly uh, turned. So we're gonna turn to match the spine. Same thing, we're just gonna turn to match the spine. So now if you look at here, you can see this key very well. You'll see the screw very well. So what you'll do from here is the surgeon will just ask you to flip through different images. He'll ask you to look through the lateral to do that, you'll use this, what they call the dog ear at the top. So if you hold down, you'll go one way. You hold down the other one, you'll go the other way. He'll ask you to flip through the axial projection. You'll hold down one way and hold down the other way. 
Those two are the most important. He may also ask you to hold down the AP. You hold down one way and hold down the other way. And you'll start to see the key. And that's pretty much it for looking through your images. Um, to send your images, there's two different ways. You can send the entire 3D spin. The 3D spin is always automatically saved. Or you can send smaller sections right here called parallel ranges. You'll get this right here and you're going to choose a number of images. The nice number is usually around 25. It gives enough images to see the entire thing. You're going to use the turn arrows to match the spine and you're going to move this where you want it. So I knew my key was somewhere around here. So I am going to put my, my lines right there. If I press start, it'll flash a really quick view of it right here. So let's do that again. If I like the way it looks, I'm gonna press start and it'll say, is not saved yet. Do you wish to save it? We'll say yes. So that was for this one. I'm going to have to make one for all three. So same thing, you're going to click right here. You're going to put this in a good spot. We're going to go right around here. I'm going to use this to match the key. We'll press start. You'll see it flash. Looks good. You press start again and you say yes. We'll close that and say no, we don't need to save it twice. We'll do the same, same thing for this one here. Parallel lines. Take this, move it down. I'm going to add a couple lines. And press start. It looks good, so I'll press close and yes. So now that everything is saved, usually the spin is at the end of the case and they say we're all done with the exam. Um, you'll move the C-arm out from around the body and the way to end the exam is pressing F4. So once you click F4, it ends the exam, it uploads all the images, and it'll go back to the screen at the beginning. So this is just your no patients here. So now you're gonna hover over here into the left corner and you're gonna click patient. And this is how you send. So you're gonna go to the browser and we're gonna go to the local database. The one that we just did is test test. And you're gonna see that all of our images are right over here. So here is our 3D scan. Here are all of our 2D images from the scan. And these are the three um, smaller sections that I made called NPR thick ranges. If I click on it, you'll see a small picture of all the ones that I just made. Gives you an idea. You'll see that this one and this one You'll also have our dose summary at the bottom here. So if I want to send more than one thing, I'm going to press control and hold control. And then I'm gonna click on the ones that I wanna send. If I wanna send all of those, I'm gonna go to transfer, archive to, tax, archive. I'm not gonna archive them here. I don't want to send them, but that's it. At the end of the case, you will um, shut off the machine here. You will unplug it from the wall and remove the umbilical. And we're done. So if the 
Emergency button, emergency stop was to be pushed. How do we release that? So if this one got pushed right here, the only, the way to release it is just to spin and bring it back up. Twist and it pops. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So the only thing that will happen is if this is pushed is it will not allow you to take x-rays because right here it says x-ray not ready, emergency stop is pressed. Okay. Once I undo it, emergency stop is released. Anything else? I think that's it. Can, right. you, can you think of anything else? Mm. Other than this will also bring your monitor up and down, which is good for those tall surgeons. Little fun fact. Um, and then this is your exposure switch right here. So this one will expose just straight x-rays. This one is more like your high dose boost x-ray. What does this do? This way your wheels will go back and forth. If you pull up and turn, now your wheels are free. You can also move in diagonal positions like this. Down here is your lock, so if you click down, it's locked, now it's unlocked.